Hello and welcome to another episode of Elixir Drops. So, uh, you know what? Today we're going to do ETS or ETS storage. So, uh, we're actually going to write some Erlang here, but, uh, you know, for anyone who's not familiar, this is a cache memory store. Oh yeah, I, I added some cool syntax highlighting, so that's why I'm getting this wacky shell. But, uh, anyhow, uh, uh, so we're going to learn about ETS. So what is ETS? Well, ETS is a is a Erlang uh, module. It's a library of um, functions that allow you to store data in memory, and it, uh, it's super fast and really great. So um, let's get to it. So first of all, we can create a uh, table of keys and values. So um, let's go ahead and do that now. ETS new is the function we're looking for. We're going to say we want a new table. And by default, you're gonna get set and protected. Now that, this, this is uh, protected meaning only the process that created this table can access it and uh, set is the type of data that can be inserted so uh, set is is one value per unique key um, you can have other things like bag and there's other different ways that you can store data you can have um, you can allow the same key with different types of data to be added and all that so we're going to go ahead and keep set but uh, what i'd rather do is say make this public instead of protected and let's give it a name, so uh, a name table. Um, that way we can, we can name it. So now we have a table, and actually we sort of probably added that to, so okay, so now uh, if we wanted to insert data, uh, we can insert, of course this is the name, I didn't specify that, that this, this first part is the name of the actual uh, ETS table that we're creating. So. Uh, you know, you can just, so it takes tuples, and they can be more than two-part tuples. They can be two, three, four, whatever value, but here's an example where we just inserted this tuple data structure with the first argument being an atom key and the second being a string value, and we can go ahead and look up that key with lookup, and we specify the table we're looking up and the key, and there we go. Now, Elixir is going to return a list of tuples. Now, because we're using set by default, uh, we can't have the same key in there. So if we were to insert a new value and we look it up, we're going to get that new one. It's going to overwrite. But if you were to use a different, um, a different attribute for uh, your ETS table, like bag, I believe, or um, I'm forgetting the other ones, but you could have multiple keys with the same, or multiple pieces of data with the same key, you know, if you'd wanted it. Um, so that's that's basically like the lookup get insert uh, of ETS. There's one other thing that I wanted to show, which I think is pretty cool. Actually, a couple other things. So when I like to look up uh, lots of data in the ETS table, I use match object, and I pass it. You pass it a tuple. It's, it's a little funky looking because it's some Erlang here, but you pass it this this uh, sort of match matching style um, tuple. If I could talk and type at the same time, I'd be doing great okay so now we're gonna get uh, the first uh, any tuple that has a regular uh, has a key and a value so if we were to um, let's say insert maybe a three-parter uh, value right it's not gonna come back even though it's in there and I know this because if I can say uh, show me the info for this table and you can see that there's both those keys or both those pieces of data are in there the the two part tuple and the three part one so um keep in mind that if you you know if you're going to use match object to return all of the different things so this is what i mean by that if we were to stick another key in here uh this is key 2 with another value when we use match object we're going to get all of the keys or all of the pieces of data that match this style of one key one value uh, and we're not going to see that third one so be careful with that but match object is pretty sweet uh, and of course uh, if you wanted to delete information from your ETS table then we can do delete table and key and now if we do match object we only get the second key that we had put in there earlier uh, so lastly I'll just go ahead and show you how you might want to write this if you do want to put this in your app uh, usually you'll You'll uh, wrap this in a gen server module, so we can do that like so. Uh, 
Well, we've already wrapped it in a nice little module. So if I want to insert something into our cache, uh, here we go, key value, boom. And I want to look up. And of course we didn't, we didn't, uh, whoops. So that's how you might do it in a gen server. Then you could of course have this gen server spun up by your supervisor for your app and you're well on your way with ETS cache. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Bye.